on the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. <laughs> oh boy, this rain is driving me nuts. It's one thing to stay in the house because it's my choice. It's another thing <laughs> to stay in the house because it's pouring rain. But I am on my way to church and uh, right this very second, the rain has stopped because I forgot my umbrella, so I hope it's like that when I get out. Anyway, have a wonderful Sunday, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Well, it was a wonderful message at church. <coughs> Talked about how you can have everything, own everything, uh, receive gifts and talents, and know how to do this and know how to do that, but if you don't have love for fellow man and yourself, I might add, we have nothing. And that's very profound. <laughs> so, I'm on the way to go have a bowl of menudo, which is a Mexican. I have it maybe once every couple of months. And I'm gonna meet my twin there. So maybe I will take a little footage while we're at the restaurant. Of course, I have to have permission. <laughs> anyway, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I've had my meal and uh, didn't take any footage uh, because my sister brought a, a friend with her, an older lady, a little bit on the negative side, so I didn't want to take any footage. <laughs> so I'm on my way home. My hubby's back from visiting his uh, sick sister. And I'll get my mom ready for her day. I brought her a wonderful meal of a green chili, um, chili relleno, a chicken enchilada, which is fabulous, and some beans and some rice. So I'm not cooking today. And yesterday my hubby brought a, a pizza he was in Hemet, California, fixing my girlfriend's uh, heater and uh, replaced something or other. And I said, do me a favor, stop at the pizza place there in Hemet. It's right on the way home. And uh, so he did. It woke up with no puffiness. Looks pretty good. So uh, that's what I had to eat all day yesterday. <laughs> I had two pieces for two o'clock when he brought it. I had one later on as a snack, and then I had a piece at 10 o'clock at night. So, uh, that's what I ate. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to drive on home right now. So I made it home safely to my abode. My husband is back, and uh, I'm going to kick back, read some uh, literature that I got from church. And my mom's not quite ready to get up, so I can just uh, enjoy this time. And yes, as you can see, I still have my wreath up here and in the living room and in the little other little uh, TV den room. <laughs> I just think it's festive. <laughs> well, <clears throat> the other day my sister sent me a poem uh, about football and a blonde. And uh, my husband just told me today is Super Bowl Sunday. So I'll share the joke with you, okay? <laughs> So I stopped to read this joke, and I had to laugh. It is funny, don't you think? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to say goodbye now. Uh, and I'll probably throw in a little two and a half minute uh, video today also about how I did my makeup when I was 13 years old. So have a great Sunday. Have a great week for that matter. Uh, take care of yourself. Be good to yourself, somebody else also, and uh, have a wonderful day. Mwah. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for thumbing up, thumbs, thumbing up, <laughs> and uh, for everything. Bye, gals and guys. Adios. Okay, so the ne this next uh, two minutes or so is extra footage that I never got out. Thought maybe you might get a kick out of it. Good morning, good morning. Hi everybody. This is going to be a very quick video. I'm having to hold my cell phone 
because I broke my little stand, which looks like this. That's it. I set it up on top of my tripod and uh, it fell and I broke it. So what I want to show you today, except for the eyelashes, is how I used to put my makeup on when I was 13. I used an eyebrow pencil, black, and <clears throat> I'd rub it on the end of my finger and put it on my brow bone. Before that, I would take the, hold on. Before that, I would take the eyebrow pencil and make the line right there on both eyes and underneath. Now, today, because I have eyelashes on, uh, which I didn't have then, I can't, uh, put the eyebrow pencil as an eyeliner. But the eyebrow pencil did all my work for me. And I noticed that when I was putting it, cause you know, I do it three or four times on my finger, putting it on my eyebrows, it kind of did the self uh, blending, don't you think? Then of course, whatever lipstick I had, I would put on and I would use it as my rouge or my blush. Of course, I, had, I did have mascara, and uh, so that's what I used to do. My eye makeup was a Maybelline eyebrow pencil. Has served me well. <laughs> so now, I'm going to shave my legs. Well, I mean pluck. Well, I made this a little bit easier because I put a little dot there where the hair is. That's it. I'm done taking the hair off my legs. <laughs> And the other leg had two hairs. So you see, I just wanted to keep myself honest with you. I told you I didn't have much hair. <laughs> My arms aren't even ready to be plucked yet. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? Tomorrow's going to be the end of the month. And so I'm going to do a little song for you to thank every single one of you that subscribed in January. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So, uh, also, my part two of my eyelash primer will be coming up as well. Okay. Have a great day. Stay warm. Oh, you poor people in the cold weathers. I feel for you. May God bless you and take care of you. Stay very, very warm. Bye-bye. Talk to you later. God willing. <laughs>